So in response to one of my videos a few days ago where I was talking about filtering the literature and trying to identify good research, somebody asked, how do you actually tell good research in the literature? So this is quite difficult to do when you first start. So when you're a first year PhD student and it's your first time looking at academic literature, you don't necessarily know what is good and what isn't. And one of the reasons for that is that you don't have experience of your own. So if you've never done the type of research which you're reading about, how do you know if the analysis has been carried out properly? How do you know if the methods are appropriate? So what you need to do is start getting some practical experience so you can actually relate that to the literature that you're reading. So in my own PhD, in my first year, I was reading all of these papers about atomic force microscopy and all of these other things, and I didn't know what was good and what wasn't. So it was only after two, three years of doing experiments myself, doing different types of analysis, making mistakes and recognizing the things that could go wrong that I started to recognize those things in other people's work. So by the time I got to my third year, I could very quickly see things that were wrong in some of the published papers. So getting practical experience is really key to understanding a lot of the literature. But the mistake that a lot of people make is spending years and years and years reading but without actually doing any of the practical work themselves. So what I would advise anybody to do, whatever kind of research you're doing, is to start getting practical experience early, making loads of mistakes, um, figuring out how to recognize good results from bad, and then you can start to see that in the literature.